The man accused of killing two people, including his seven-year-old niece, faced a judge today. And tonight we're learning the deadly shooting should never have happened. Investigators say it all started after an argument that took a deadly turn this week, saying Tyrese Martin shot and killed his neighbor in Land Park. Little Isabel caught in the crossfire. But now we're learning Martin would not have been would have been in custody rather at the time of the shooting if it were up to the DA. Good evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Our news is also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento right now. He had a long criminal history but was released from custody while awaiting trial. So just how often are felons released despite objection from the DA? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers. Innocent, sweet. Never did anything wrong to nobody. A heartbroken mother mourns the loss of seven year old Isabel, shot and killed outside her apartment just days before her eighth birthday. Police say Isabel was caught in the crossfire of her own uncle's gun when he allegedly shot and killed a neighbor following a dispute. Come to the front door. Police later arrested Tyrese Martin, who has a lengthy criminal history dating back to 2018. He was awaiting trial for possession of a firearm by a felon when he was released from custody with an ankle monitor last month despite objection from a deputy DA who cited community safety and prior failure to appear as the main reason for him to be in custody. Sacramento Police Department. So how common is this? Well, comprehensive records weren't available for felons released by a judge while awaiting trial on new charges in Sacramento, but records reveal more than 300 violent and serious offenders were granted early release from prison in recent years, despite opposition from the Sac County DA's office. In all, more than 1,300 inmates sentenced in Sac County alone have been released over the past three years before serving even half their sentence. DA Anne Marie Schubert previously cited six examples where those felons reoffended. Most people don't realize that most inmates will never serve their full sentence. It's usually half, if not a third less. Placer County DA Morgan Geyer previously worked at the Sac County DA's office. He explains under existing law, most inmates get credit for time served while awaiting trial and then are entitled to good conduct credits from the Department of Corrections. As long as you are awake and breathing and not getting into trouble by assaulting other inmates, you are entitled to that good time credit. A recent emergency regulation shortened time served even more. Her life has gone too early. If convicted, Isabel's uncle would end up back in prison or even he could someday be eligible for early release.